Hello and welcome to another episode of Beside the Fire with Alexander and Shime. I'm Shime. And I'm Alexander. And this is the show where we take an in-depth look at some of the most interesting people from around the country, and a little bit about the journey that led them to become who they are today. This is Danny Jollis. Hello. This is a really great opportunity because Danny's only here for a short period of time, barely a day. His, uh, his ship is docked in uh, New York Harbor. Yeah, and we were able to get him just a short time. Thank you so much for making the time. Of course. Thank you I very know you're very busy. Well, I'm happy to do it. Oh, that's great. A story about how I met Danny. Uh, of course, Alex and I are trying to get to Tokyo again. Um, we had a, a cruise set from, it was going from New York to Tokyo. Um, but it was going to take approximately four weeks. Yeah. It was a beautiful, it was beautiful. transatlantic voyage. Yeah. I don't know how often you as an audience member spend at some of these seaports, but I swear to God, they're the most confusing places. There's the signs world. everywhere. Yeah. Signs everywhere. Absolutely. I don't know how you do it. I don't need signs. Yeah. And I uh, can't read. And yeah, I also read. refuse to ask for directions. So needless Refuses. to say, I did not wind up on the right boat. Uh, neither did Shime, coincidentally. Yeah. yeah. But he wound up on a cruise line anyway, yeah. going around the Caribbean, and uh, I wound up on a uh, fishing boat. I learned a lot about fluke that yeah. that week. Cool. Um, Kept talking about fluke. Fluke, I, fluke, 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 fluke. I have not stopped dreaming about fluke since then. Um, it's a really delicate fish, by the very, way. Very, very nice. But I was, so I was on this cruise ship and I was looking for Alex. I thought he got on there too, and I kept running into Danny here thinking it was Alex I shaved or something. And I was like, Alex! Yeah. Alex! We were insistent, yeah. if I remember correctly. I remember yeah. that you you come on and be like, Alex, and I'd be like, it's not who I am. Please stop doing that. Mm. You wouldn't let it go. But then we, I, I'm sorry. It was like, because like sorry. the thing was, was like, it's not, like you kept calling me Alex and mm -hmm. I kept being like, no. Nah. I just really, you I, have I, to really know your, you have to know your actual friend slightly better than this. Yeah, we, we, we kind of, we had a laugh we about did, it. We, had a laugh. Like, we went to the buffet, yes. some oysters. Love my, love my buffet. Um, and then, and I, then you got straight to work, from what I yeah, understand, right after the buffet. I, I thought we were going to sit together. All of a sudden, you went to this table of, of, it was like nine women, can I say mature women, older women. Sure. And you started chatting them up, and I was like, what, what is this? And then the dancing started, and you started moving around to all these different women dancing, and I had, and then I had to, after the dance, I was like, what's your deal? Yeah. And you told me, you're an, you're an ambassador host. Yes. And that's fascinating, so fascinating. Thank you. My job is basically to just... Uh, sleep with every woman who comes on the cruise ship who wow. wants to. Uh, wow. And, you know, make them fill up, you know, sometimes after loss. A dinner companion for yeah. a newly widowed. Newly when you widow, you, divorce, divorce et cetera. breakups, anything. Anything where you're yeah. hurting, I come in mm. and I fill that hole. It's a, it's a really hard job, honestly. Yeah. Um, the emotional toll must be. Yeah. The emotional toll, uh, yeah. you know, the amount of time you're on a ship, just, ah, oh, here we go again. What's your name? Beverly. Great. I love doing that. Yeah. And you're there, but, mm, but I love doing it. Yeah, it seems like it. You know, every day I wake up and I go, first I go, who is this? What is her name? Mm -hmm. uh, and then I go, yeah. got it. Yeah. And I go and I go, I can't wait to do that again. I can't wait to do oh, this day again. And so it's it's thrilling. Do it's, what you love and love what you do. Do what you love, what you do. I'm sure that they all love you. I mean, you seem you seem to be the like hit at that Crystal Cruise Line. Dimples. Wow. Dimples are a great. Let's see them. Let's see them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're big. And uh, when you're a, a, a little kid, yeah. yep. everybody Absolutely. loves dimples. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves a kid with dimples. Love them. Grew up, everyone like yeah, dimples. Yeah. Uh, when you dimples. get older, you know it's not great for people your own age. Most most women my age. Not a big fan of, you know, take them or leave them, but like, yeah. you know, it kind of makes you look childish. Yeah. But older women love dimples. Yeah, well, yeah. that's, that's yeah. why they kept, I, now I realize they kept saying Danny Dimples. They kept calling you when I was on the ship, that's Danny me. Dimples. Yeah, and I go, uh, who? Oh, who? Who are you talking about? Who, who are you talking who? about? Yeah. Point to the dimples? Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, amazing. That's beautiful. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're actually not paid. By the cruise ship. Uh, no, I, I've gone to the, you know, I've gone to these cruise lines. I've said, can I have money for this? Oh. They have said, completely, this is so not okay with us. Wow. And I've said, but can I get paid? They've gone, no. But I, I like to think I get paid.
Oh, oh no, we're not. We're not brothers. 